I'm Amanda Richardson and I'm with Central Coast Now and we're here at the Sculptera Winery and Sculpture Garden with Dr. Frankel. Welcome to our place. Here we are in the Sculpture Garden uh, with Dr. Frankel and uh, so one of my questions for you is how did you incorporate art and wine together? Well, I knew that art lovers loved wine and wine lovers loved art. And I always wanted to have a sculpture garden since uh, I was 18 years old, actually, when I went to Europe as a student. I saw the beautiful sculptures in Europe and the sculpture garden, and I always felt that that would be great to hear and have in the United States. And then 40 years later, here we are because I wanted to have art combined with wine. And we have art in terms of sculptures. We have art in terms of the gates that you just went through by master craftsman Bob Bentley. These statues were all made by John Jagger, who's a well-known, actually world-renowned sculptor, as you can see. We also have paintings inside by Leah Curry, a very well-known international artist. And then we have music. And so we try to put it all together and have people enjoy it in a beautiful setting. My wife just happens to be coming by on her horse and uh, there she is waving to us. That's good timing. In fact, that's really why we initially bought this land because we wanted an area where we could ride our horses. And then uh, once you get involved with land, the land becomes part of you and you want to do something, you want to grow something. We started growing pistachios and then after growing pistachios, we started growing uh, grapes and uh, this, this area has really become world renowned for, for grapes and we have sure wonderful, has. phenomenal grapes. And then the logical sequence of events from growing really high quality grapes was to produce wine. And then what really was nice is my son was interested in it, who was brought up on, on the land and he went to Cal Poly for viticulture and enology, very interested in, 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 in growing grapes and making wine. He loves it here. The land kind of becomes part of your soul and we kind of feel that our wine reflects that. There's an earthy quality to it. When you come here and you experience this area with this little valley and these hills around, people from the city can come out here and enjoy it. And, and they can uh, relax and, and taste the wine, which is a product of the land. And there's nothing like actually growing something. And I think everybody deep down inside has a desire to grow something. <laughs> Whether it be family or grapes or even art. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, what do you say we go inside and check out some great wines in your tasting room? That'd be wonderful. All right. Well, now we're in the tasting room. And I have one more question for you. Uh, is how does the doctor, as successful as you are, um, get into winemaking? Well, it's really interesting. There's a lot of doctors that are involved with wineries and, and vineyards. It's because taking care of vines and taking care of grapes is actually very similar to taking care of patients. Uh, the chemistry is the same, and uh, you know you have to uh, be careful and not over-treat them, and you have to be able to know the diseases, and you have to be able to know their needs. And the other thing that I uh, really like about our winery is that part of the proceeds from our winery goes to a group that I founded called His, called His Healing Hands. And we're a group of local doctors and nurses and medical people uh, that go all over the world uh, to help uh, needy people. And we've been to Indonesia after the tsunami. We were in Pakistan after an earthquake. We may be going to Japan after this current earthquake. Uh, and we try to help other people and anybody can come with us they can go on our website hishealinghands.com and we take a lot of people I've taken my children I've taken my son Paul uh, who's a winemaker now I've taken my daughter who actually now is a is a USC resident so she's a doctor as well yeah and we, we try to tie it all together in our family business cheers cheers <laughs>